Scarlett Johansson's $469 million action movie sequel gets an honest update from its director 10 years later. As the filmmaker prepares to return to the director's chair, Luke Besson shares a dismal update on Lucy 2. Scarlett Johansson stars in the 2014 film as the titular American student in Taiwan who, after mysteriously becoming a drug mule, begins to develop superhuman abilities from the drugs she's supposed to deliver. After receiving mixed to positive reviews and grossing an astonishing $469 million at the box office against a $40 million production budget, speculation regarding a potential sequel has circulated in recent years. During a recent interview with the playlist for his upcoming drama thriller Dogman, Besson was asked if Lucy 2 would be released. The writer-director claimed that reports regarding the sequel over the years were news to him and that he has not been approached to direct or develop a sequel to his popular film. In the years since the first film's debut, Besson has repeatedly denied allegations that he is creating Lucy 2. In previous comments, the filmmaker has stated that the most difficult aspect of developing a sequel is determining how to continue from Lucy's ending, in which Johansson's character transforms into a supercomputer and leaves a mystical flash drive for Morgan Freeman's Professor Norman, while also disappearing into an unknown place in time. Despite this supposedly final finish, a Lucy sequel may go in a variety of directions. The primary option is already in the works, since it was announced in late 2022 that Europa Corp and Village Roadshow were developing a spin-off TV program centered on Freeman's character. Though narrative details remain unknown for the time being, it appears that the program will take place after the events of the film, following Professor Norman as he further examines what occurred before. This could lead him to find additional people with Lucy's powers. While the Freeman-led show has been announced for some time, Lucy too might also investigate what happened to Johansson's character after the first film ended. Some audiences are still perplexed by the original film's ambiguous ending, and while a sequel would jeopardize some viewers' appreciation for its lack of direct explanations, Besson or another filmmaker could step in and find a way to bridge the gap between the two sides without undermining the original, much like Denis Villeneuve did with Blade Runner 2049.